Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I am Adrienne, I live in New York City. I love playing with makeup. And this video is one of my favorite videos to film, which is a full collection swatch, a thon of a lip product, and particularly a lip product that I'm loving. The way it works with me is I typically try a lip product and if I really fall in love with it, I buy the rest of the shades, <laughs> not all the time, but sometimes, and it certainly was the case with this. The MAC Squirt Plumping Gloss Sticks. So that is a mouthful. I don't love the name of the product, but I do find the product to be a lot of fun. So I have every single shade except for the clear. I just didn't think that that was, that like made sense for me. And so I, want to just quickly put on every single shade so you know what it looks like on my skin tone. I am quite a bit tan right now, tanner than I've been in a few years. Typically I am light fair. I would say right now I'm light medium. I have swatched all the shades on my arm in indirect natural sunlight. And you can skip to the end of the video to just kind of see comparison by side by side. But since this is a pretty sheer tinted formula, it does matter the pigmentation of your lips. And so I have pretty pigmented lips. That base color pigmentation is certainly going to affect the product. And I'll just start with the one I'm wearing today, which is Violet Beta. It is the purple one. And I've probably been wearing this a few hours already. And you'll see that it does wear down, but it wears down nicely and very comfortably. As the name suggests, this is a plumping formula. So it does have a very invigorating, minty kind of quality to it. It's not spicy, it doesn't hurt or burn. It does have a very, very cooling tingle. I would say it's more cooling than some of the other items out there that call itself cooling and use a mint property. I find this to be a little more zingy but I don't mind it. I think it's very comfortable and it feels very refreshing and it doesn't affect the taste of food or anything. And so they come in coordinating packaging. So Violet Beta is in a rich purple. It's a nice just plastic packaging and I just think it's a fun product and I like just the fun basic vibe to it. Like I know exactly what's in here. When you open it, you twist it up and it is one of those super soft formulas similar to the Tarte Maracuja that once you click it out of the package it isn't stable enough to like stand up on its own so you only want to click up to the part in which you want to use the product so I'm going to reapply the product so that you can see it full on and that you can also see how it layers up by the way if you're curious as to any of the other makeup I'm wearing on my face I will list all the products down below so there you have violet beta I just reapplied it it layers very well so after two three four hours of it naturally wearing down to a tacky still hydrating gloss on your lips you can go ahead and reapply this over and it layers well. Sometimes products don't layer well and you find that you're building and building and building and it's getting gloopier and gloopier and it's very unflattering. Sometimes I find I have to completely wipe off a lip product, like reapply fresh, and that's the only way I get a nice feeling on my lips. That is not the case with this one. And you'll see like it's definitely purple it's a vibe it's not for everyone i think if you had pinker lips i have pretty kind of purpley based pink lips so i do think it's affecting it but i do like it in the winter months i would really like this color because i like playing around with lilacs when i'm a little bit more fair but it's really cool it's pretty if you're looking for a sheer purpley tinged lip gloss Think you'd be very happy with this. I know that these are very difficult to find now because they were very difficult for me to find all the shades. I had to go to three different Mac stores. Hopefully they're gonna produce them more because I do think they're a fun product. So the first color I had purchased was Jet. It's the black shade. I just thought this was so unique that I had to have it. So I bought it. So you'll see on my lips, I just applied it on the bottom half and this gives more of a blackberry vibe. 
I love that color. It's sort of like a perfect day vamp look. It's, it's very flattering. I really love this color. It made me fall in love with the product so much that I went and purchased the rest of them. I hope you can see like the color went on very evenly. There isn't a lot of patchiness. My lips right now are not exactly the smoothest. I should have probably exfoliated and yet they're not, it's not catching on that dry lip skin. It's actually hydrating it and making it feel quite nice. And so I'm not self-conscious. Sometimes if my lips are in the current state that they're in, any lip product will look just a little eh, on top of it, especially if it's a matte product. But this being a hydrating product, it just looks really nice. It's Barbie Pink Amped. This is a really fun shade. I will say with this one, I started to notice that some of the formulas seem to be a tiny bit different than others. Seems as though some formulas feel much more stable than others. This one's a little more melty. Uh, there's a couple of them that are very, very soft. This is the color Amped. It's like a very wearable Barbie glossy pink, which I know is very popular right now. Again, super unstable this one for whatever reason you see it's like extremely melty kind of has collapsed within itself probably will stick this one in the fridge just so that it can harden up but they've all been in the same place in the same room in the same temperature and i don't find that that jet or violet beta and some others and i'll point out the ones that are a little more melty than others i don't know if that's consistent across the line, meaning others are having this experience. It still is a nice product. It's just a little bit harder to apply because it's so, so gloopy. Might go on really good with a lip brush or even just with your finger. I had to kind of manipulate it a little bit, but it's still pretty. I would wear it. I just have a feeling it's going to disappear more quickly because it's so, so melty. Here is the shade Hazard. It's the orange one. This one also is very, very melty. Kind of just gives me the subtlest orangey tangerine quality. It isn't as bright as it looks in the tube and it is quite transparent. It's pretty though. I tend to like oranges generally and this is an unusual orange. This is one that isn't quite as melty as that last color, Amped but it is somewhere in the middle between being stable and being melty. It's so cushiony and you just have to, with those melty ones, you have to be careful not to go overboard in applying them because then you can easily get, you know, kind of that ring of color because you've over applied. It really isn't something that the product would normally do. But again, if it's one of the meltier formulas, you might come across it, but I feel like this is a color I would often go to, especially if I'm wearing a more brownie, peachy eye look, which I tend to go to. So I will be going through this lip product faster than others probably. Here is the shade Nova, one of the more unique shades in the line. This one is actually one of those more stable formulas. So it's going to work well, even if it's very warm outside, it's not gonna be too melty. Um, definitely gives me a bit of a frosty look to my lips as though I might be a little cold. I think I can make this work with a lip liner and layering it over maybe other types of lipstick shades. I think it would be a really cool hue to bring out, but on its own, it's not my favorite. But it definitely is unique and fun and would be fun to apply, you know, like out in the open, like, ooh, you're wearing a blue lip gloss. This is the shade Heat Sensor, probably the easiest to wear in the entire collection on my lip tone. It just gives me uh, your lips, but better. Gives it a, just a tiny hint of cherry, not too much. It is also one of the more stable formulas. So this one definitely is a favorite for like every day. And you'll see, it's just very, very subtle. I love that kind of watermelony red color. And I think it's very flattering. And I think this would be universally the one 
people should go to. It's not my favorite color wise because I haven't gotten to my favorites color wise, but this one is sort of like the easiest to wear if you like to wear sort of normalish lip colors. So if you just want to try the formula and have a your lips but better type of look, go for heat sensor. This is like squirt. I think this was a, the original kind of color that came out because I feel like this product has come out before and it, this is more of a re-release with an expansion of colors. So this is green and surprisingly it is not terribly unflattering. It just has the most subtle sheen of the green. This is one of those very, very melty formulas though. So you just have to be careful not to over apply because it just collapses onto itself. I really, I don't know why some of the shades are like that and some aren't. It's very weird. Maybe it just has to do with the type of pigmentation. Here's one of my favorite shades, Simulation. This is the lighter of the two browns in the collection. I love both of the browns though. No surprise, I love wearing brown lipstick. And this is just such a beautiful nude. Also kind of brings out some rosiness in my lips. I really love this one. Unfortunately though, this also is one of those super melty formulas. And so you just have to be careful. It could get gloopy really quickly. So what I like to do is just tap it on use my fingers to just blend it out so it can get a little messy the application but again it does last a pretty long time on the lips and to reapply is fairly easy it's just it's a shame that some of these are inconsistently stable here is the shade lower cut another one i adore the last one that i have similar to simulation this is a much richer color it is high high gloss but also probably the most melty of the bunch. It has been really warm in New York, but these were gloopy from before our heat wave. This is a beautiful high shine chocolatey color though. It has absolutely no shimmer in it or anything. And I just think it is beautiful color. So that is lower cut. And that is all the shades I have. Look how much fun. I was using a paper towel to like blot lips and now I have artwork. <laughs> I hope that this was helpful if you're looking at considering buying any of these. I think that's a fun lip product. I'm happy that MAC is coming out with interesting releases and I really do hope that they stabilize those that are a little too soft down the road and that they just include this in their core line because I do think they just really need some really strong lip glosses that aren't the lip gloss. I hate the lip gloss. Oh, I hate it so much. It's super lacquered and everything, but I just think it's such a sticky, yucky lip gloss. It's so hard for me to admit because I love so many of Max lip products, but I would love to see a product like this live forever in their line. And yeah, I really hope that they keep it around. And so stick around for uh, the swatches on my arm in indirect daylight so you can kind of see the tonal difference. But I hope that you seeing it on my lips kind of gave you an idea of what might work for you and what might not work for you. Hope that everyone has a great, great week and I will check in soon. Take care. Bye.